Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I am standing outside in these winter conditions to bring this video to you. So how about that? Anyway, behind me I have my GMC AT4. She is filthy. I do have some small aesthetic enhancements I want to do today and, and show you how I do them. So what I've already done is I've tinted that third brake light up there. So I'll show you some footage on that in a bit. As you know from previous videos, if you've watched them, if you haven't, check them out. I hyper dipped my emblems but I haven't really done anything to the front of the vehicle yet. So in this video, I'll show you the third brake light, like I said, but I'm going to add some tint um, around the outside area of the headlight. I'm also going to put vinyl on the inside of this emblem so you can see how to vinyl wrap your emblems. They're not all easy to do. This one should be pretty straightforward, but I'll show you that as well. But first we need to get this truck clean. So the biggest challenge is that muck that you see out there. By the time I get to the car wash across the city and try and get back, I'm gonna to have to dodge some monster puddles. So we'll uh, see what we encounter, but let's uh, go wash the truck and try and get it home nice and clean. Let's go. I think the route in front of me will be the least dirty. Now we gotta try and get our home as clean as possible. As you can see, it's pretty mucky out there. If you look at the sheer amount of dirt that's been added to the snow, that's uh, sand and gravel because even with winter tires, we still need more traction when it gets really cold here. All right guys, we got the truck back. As you can see, it didn't get too, too dirty. There's a little bit more mist and spray on the back end of the vehicle, but the front is what we needed to clean, and it is. So let me show you in a little more detail what we're going to do. So I have some extra white vinyl, and this is more of just for the purpose of how-to. I don't think it's something that I'm gonna keep on the vehicle, but I wanted to show you how to do it in case you're interested. But what I'm going to do is on the GM logo here, <clears throat> My grand plan is to probably have this all black around the trim, but for now I'm just gonna inlay some white vinyl here on the red GMC letters because it should tie in nice with the rest of the white. This is temporary, I wanna show you how easy it is. We'll do that in a few minutes. On the headlights though, there's this one dealership uh, somewhere in the US that does kind of a surround tint on these headlights and I've always liked the look. So without a high resolution picture to show me exactly where it begins and where it ends, I'm going to just guess where to put this uh, tint, but essentially it will not block the um, running lights here. It will go around, cover the sides and just follow this curve naturally. So I'm gonna have to use some knifeless tape for cutting vinyl. 
So I've got a couple rolls. I got one here, I'll use up first because it's almost at its end. I have some leftover tint. You're probably wondering why is he like tinting everything and wrapping everything? Well, if you have the materials, why not put them to use? So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. And I'll show you the footage of the third brake light, which is already done. I'll show you that after I do these projects. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna mask the area so when I put the tint on, it doesn't stick to the body panels. That'll make it a little easier for positioning around the corners. So we'll just do this quick. Now I'm gonna put my cutting tape right where the outside of this running light is, kind of a backwards letter C. So I wanna leave myself enough room over the edge over here. The nice thing about this or 3M cutting tape is it's very bendable when you get to corners. So I'm making sure that I'm level with the light so I can see exactly where that line is and then I'm following the curvature of the light. So my tint will look like it's supposed to be there and not an afterthought. At least that's the goal. So, I have a couple pieces ready to go. There we go. So I'm gonna start right where my cuts are gonna be. Make sure all this is laid in nice. Nice and flat there. Come around. That way I'm not fighting with any of these corners or creases. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the phone down here, use my assistant to put some heat on this, and then I'm going to stretch it around and work it all in. Up here is probably going to be the most difficult. Um, so you'll see me lay that in first, and then I'll work my way out. All right guys, we got the headlight tint done. Before I get to the letters on the grill, I'm just gonna show you that footage of the third brake light right now.
so that was the footage of the third brake light. Now we're gonna get onto the GMC logo here. Now my goal is to eventually go back to having this red. So just for fun, I'm gonna show you how you can put an overlay on them. So to tie me over until I actually do something to the grill, I am gonna put some white lettering in here, but that's all gonna be changed out. So this is a good temporary way to uh, make a change to your emblems. I've got three pieces of just scrap vinyl here. I've, I've roughly cut out to be the right size of these letters. So they've already been cleaned as you saw from that footage. So this is really simple. All we're going to do is just lay that vinyl on there. Make sure we don't have any wrinkles in the spots where we want the vinyl to stick. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get a little bit of heat. Okay, now we're going to cut it out, but we want to keep our blade as close to the outside edge as possible. So when I tuck the vinyl back in, it'll start to wrap inside, covering the red a little deeper. So you just want to bring your blade up to your at an edge, and then I just drag it at a, about a 30 degree angle. I'm not scratching anything. The blade's just gliding along the plastic. So there I'm at the end. And then I'll do the same here. See, I'm far away from here. I'm all the way down against the chrome piece. Okay, moment of truth. So I got a little bit short right there, but I have lots of vinyl. I can redo it, this is my first attempt. But now I know which areas are the trickiest. But uh, let's just finish the rest up quick and I'll put that on a time lapse. This turned into a father-daughter project. She's better at it than I am. She's got more patience. Her M turned out perfect. And then dad's had a blemish right here. So we're gonna redo the G, but her M is immaculate. Well, thank you to my daughter. This turned into a father-daughter uh, project. She uh, redid the G and it looks better than I probably ever could have done it. Man, I've got talented children. Anyway, we got the lights tinted. You saw the third brake light. We got the inlay on the GMC logo. I think it looks pretty cool. At least it's gonna stand out and be unique. So let's pull it outside and see all this in the sunlight.
All right, we're done the project. We have the third brake light. That's the favorite part that I did. We did the tint around the headlights. It's a light smoke. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'd like it darker and I'll do that in a future date, in a future video maybe. But my favorite part that I didn't finish doing that my daughter took over because I was screwed it up was the white emblem overlays with the vinyl. So thank you for that. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.